This is brought to you by our friends at, at GoRoute, whose mission is to simplify on-field communication. I know you guys have been a GoRoute school for, for, for a number of years. Can you tell us just a little bit kind of about the importance of, of communication between you and your coaching staff and, and the, the players on the field, especially your quarterback? You know, communication is key. That's the number one. If we're not on the same page, we're, we're, you're going to be lost. And, you know, it, it goes back to coaching our kids. You know, we tell them all the time, as long as we communicate, we're going to be okay, whether the offensive line, you know, or whether our center's calling the protection left or right or what, if we're all on the same page, same way with defense. Even if we check the wrong coverage, but if we're all in the same coverage, we're going to be okay. And for us, you know, with the coaching staff, that's our biggest deal. Hey, we all got to be on the same page, go out there and communicate, everybody, you know, pulling the rope in the same direction. And, you know, that's the thing about um, the go route and all that stuff. It helps us communicate well with the kids, you know, being able to get out there and practice better, you know, faster, more efficient. So it, it's, it's the most important thing you can do as a football team is have great communication. Let me, let me ask you specifically about Brody. This is a guy who, who obviously in this system, he's been terrific for you guys. Um, you know, you're the guy who sees him every day in practice. What is it about your, your QB one that makes him special? Man, he's, um, he, he's Mr. Cool. Nothing ever bothers him. He, um, you know, he's the ultimate competitor. He, he's the guy that kind of gets on everybody's nerves because, you know, Saturday morning you come in and man, everybody's kind of beat up and he's the dude up there doing jumping jacks. Like, Hey, let's go. Let's go. You know, you love it. He, he's that type of guy. He just, he's always doing everything right. He makes me a better person. There's times when I get on the sideline and I'm like, you know, acting like a nutcase and he's like, coach, it's okay. I'm like, God, man, this is the, the 18 year old telling me it's okay. But he's just that type of kid. He, he's a coach's kid. And um, man, he, he does a great job of keeping everything in perspective. He's a, he, you know, he's, big young man of faith and he, he believes that you know he's put here to go out and and to do a job and he goes out and leads right he's great in the school everybody loves him he's not a um, showboat he's one of those kids he puts the team first and and I'm, I'm a big believer in you know you reap what you sow and man he sowed sows great seeds all the time and he's just that type of kid I mean he's not worried about anything else but being a great teammate and winning uh, where have you seen him kind of grow the most as, as, as a player, uh, over your, your tenure coaching him? I, obviously I've seen him kind of become a, a better player, more reliant and, and even a better leader uh, for this team. But where have you seen him grow the most? You know, athletically, I've seen him grow the most in the passing game, right? For us, that's what, you know, early in the year, last year, he struggled on being able to, you know, to get his correct reads and make decisions right now. You know, that's where he's, he's grown the most in that type of passing game, but also in being a vocal leader. You know, he, he's not a big vocal guy. He's a quiet guy, you know, leader by example. But he does a great job of, of you know, this spring and after football season, of really being a better vocal leader. And you need that in a guy. He's, um, he's not a big uh, – he's not going to get out there and chew you out. He's a big guy that's going to get out there and say, hey, you did this wrong. Do this next time. You know, and the guys play hard for him because – you know, that's the type of dude he is. Uh, I want to ask you a little bit about the the, the team and, and and moving up to Class 4A. Much ballyhooed uh, when array alignment came out. Uh, if y'all quit growing, then maybe you guys could stay in 3A. But that ain't going to happen anytime soon. <laughs> Um, the, the move to four, a, you guys are off to a fantastic start. Uh, uh, but, but, but how do you guys, how do you guys talk about that, that kind of change within the program? You know, it's a, um, you know, the, the, the fear of the unknown, right. And, you know, guys are like, you know, can we, people are wondering, can we compete at the four, a level? And, you know, that was the purpose, you know, past couple of years of trying to schedule 4A schools and stuff just to show, even though we didn't fare very well against the 4A schools last year, or the last two years, um, I, I think it showed our guys that we can go there and compete because there were games that we were right there in the, end of the games and had a chance to win but didn't do it. So um, the guys have been great. And now that we we are 4A and we're competing here, they're very good at understanding, hey, it's, it's, a, it's a football game against other 17, 18-year-old kids, right? They may have – more kids in a school than us, but it's 11 versus 11 when you're out there on the field. And, you know, they've accepted the challenge, and we really try to make it a big deal of not focusing on 4A, right? Focusing on, you know, through the spring and the summer of not worrying about what classification we're in, but just going out and playing football. 
it's a it's the same size field no matter if you're you're one a or six a you know it's 11 versus 11 and the best 11 guys are going to go out there and win so that's been our focus of not getting caught up in all the hoopla of moving up to 4a but just to go out and be sound be solid and, and, and play football he's billy mathis he's the head coach of the state ranked brock eagles but i don't mind saying that uh coach we sure appreciate your time congratulations again on your fantastic start and looking forward to seeing what you guys do down the road yes sir i appreciate y'all thank you